Today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Hot Wheels, the Dark Knight Rises, the Bat. The Bat comes to us from the new line of Lego Batman themed vehicles. And uh, this one actually comes with a stand as it's going to be in uh, flight mode. Obviously it's a flight vehicle as opposed to a land vehicle. Comes on the same package, that kind of rock face packaging that we've seen already with the other Batman vehicles. Recommend for ages 8 and up. Comes to us from The Dark Knight Rises. Spin around the back of the package. I wish they would have actually incorporated a read up. I mean, ideally, because they've incorporated the vehicle here, it's not like they're using generic packaging for all the vehicles. So because they are incorporating this, I wish there was a, maybe a slight read up, you know, when it originated, a little read up about the vehicle itself. Speaking of other vehicles, the, the other vehicles in this line are the Bat, the Bat Pod, the 1980s Batmobile, and Batman and Robin's Batmobile. Uh, comes to us also from the folks over at Mattel. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the Hot Wheels Dark Knight Rises, the Bat. It's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. To come included with the Bat, you get yourself a display stand, which very easily pegs into the underside, the underside of the Bat. It does feel like it's very light plastic. I wish it was maybe just a little heavier feeling plastic. There's the ball joint on the top there. And again, that, un that pegs to the underside of the Bat. Don't worry about these little propellers. They are rubbery and a little on the fragile side, but luckily the peg point is right above that. I would say though, when you peg it in, oh, and I just dropped it. Hold on one second. As I was saying, <laughs> I just don't want to hold on to this. As I was saying, the uh, the plastic, because it feels so very light, I feel like there's just too much stress on that little small area. So when I when you would peg it in, kind of even put your finger kind of underneath it and then peg it into place. Um, even like pegging it into place, uh, it doesn't, it sits really loose, and I don't know why, it just doesn't feel like the port, the actual hole just seems maybe a little too big, that it doesn't fit properly. And maybe you could add a little bit of nail polish or a little bit of glue, just to kind of make that, make that port just a little bit bigger, so it fits into place. So unfortunately, a couple of strikes already, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really let the, uh, the, the bat wing or the bat doesn't really let it sit up. I mean, just again, sits very, very loose. Almost dropped it again. Uh, okay, so let's have a look at the bat. I have to admit, I'm not crazy about this vehicle. I'm not really crazy as a whole about the Nolan Universe Batman. I know I'm probably the minority for saying that, but the Nolan Universe Batman, as good as it was at the time that it was, I think looking back on it now, it just felt too military for me. And it's just, especially designs of the bat. I'm more a traditional guy. I like the bat, like an actual bat wing, or like the bat wing from the original 89 Batman. I love that because it just has, it just looks like Batman, something that he would fly. This, on the other hand, doesn't quite look Batman to me. I understand Batman didn't necessarily design this. He simply took something that was already used for the military and made it his own. I get that. But it just doesn't scream Batman to me. Uh, the front, little front propellers, the propeller there on either side. You've got some machine guns there. Uh, they, uh, they're not painted in. There's nothing really painted in to the piece. Even on the underside as well. Nothing's really painted. It's all black. The only thing that actually breaks it up is the clear cockpit uh, canopy window that's on the front. If not for that, everything on it is very, very black. Uh, to some regard, actually, this is the second bat that Spot has owned. I already have a, it was like a, I can't remember the name of it. It was like a legacy collection bat wing where it was just a much more durable feeling piece. Um, it was a little bit more expensive, granted, but this one does feel durable. Just like the front feels a little on the rubbery plastic side. And certainly no, saying nothing for the display stand. I wish the display stand pegged just a little bit better than what it did. It just very, very loose. Uh, for comparisons to other Nolan Universe vehicles, there he, or there it is next to the the tumbler. I don't know if that's an accurate scale. I guess that the bat would probably be just a little bit bigger 
but not really by that much. So a pretty close scale. Then of course you bring in something like the bat pod that we already had a look at. Bat pod's bigger than the tumbler. Bat pod theoretically is a lot bigger as well than the bat. So it doesn't quite gel at all. Scale wise, doesn't quite quite fit. But uh, it's not a bad looking vehicle, just not really something that for me is very Batman-esque. Even like the wing that was in the Batman v Superman, didn't quite look like something Batman would drive, but at least it kind of looked somewhat Bat-ish. This on the other hand didn't really look like Batman to me. Not a bad vehicle, but really kind of cheap feeling. Like this, this is really not ex inexcusable, but this should have really pegged in a lot better than what it did. If you are looking for a bat, uh, the bat, uh, Hot Wheels style of vehicle, you can get like, again, there was like a legacy one that was a little bit, I think it was a little bit bigger. The display stand, I think was more a metal and just was a more well-rounded vehicle. It had a lot more paint deco to it as well, but still as a more cost effective, you want just like a, just a bat to sit on your desk along with the other Batman Nolan vehicles. It's not a bad vehicle. Just wish the display stand as my only real great nitpick the display stand should have held the bat a little bit better than what it did and not be so loose. Today's collectible spot though, we were having a look at the Hot Wheels. This was the Dark Knight Rises, the bat. Stay tuned guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Mm.